and the green flag now is waved. Engage gears, the sign is flipped round, watch the lights. Revs go up and away we go and uh, Ty Jones was cleanly away. Let's go to Chris Kinley. Oh, this is going to be a cracker. Great start by the the road as well but 38 has got the whole shot Tim 38 Don Gilbert is there yeah worrying time that uh, for everybody on the grid but uh, clearly there was something uh, amiss on uh, Ty Jones's bike number 12 and uh, so concerned he got off he was kneeling at first uh, looking at whatever the problem was and then uh, when the official came and held the bike, he was actually uh, horizontal on the ground uh, uh, trying to check out whatever it is, whether there'd been a little bit of dirt. Uh, maybe ask Beth just to ask Andy what the conversation was, and we can uh, bring that to you as uh, Andy Clark it was who was talking to uh, Ty Jones there on the grid. But we are underway with the JCK Supersport 600ccb race. And, uh, well, there was a, a little bit of a anxious few minutes there and people uh, just not wanting the tyres to get cold. Uh, but we have got the story. Beth, you can tell it. Yeah, apparently the guy behind him said there was some black smoke coming out of the bike, so that's what he was having a look at. Could have been some rubber, not sure. Couldn't see a, a, a real problem, so fingers crossed. OK, thank you very much, Beth. There we are, the frontline story. Let's go to Rob Pritchard at Cross Four Ways. Yeah, like you said, Tim, yeah, just uh, a little bit of minor concern there as to get things underway as the first machines do emerge there. Don Gilbert had that good start, of course, right through and past Chris Kelly. It's Don Gilbert who is just in front of number 12 here. That's Ty Jones who goes up on the inside and he's first through Corner Cottage. Brilliant move from Ty Jones there. 93 and 53 through as well. And another sketch of them, 78, 99, 25, 96, 41, 33, 58 and 80. On the way through, it's just a sea of machines, 77, 52, 88. 62, 47, 55, 67, 87, 75, and 54 as well. It's a travelling marshal backs up the group. But Ty Jones, whatever gremlins he might have been having to deal with, just as they got to the start line there, they don't seem to have held him back as he's managed to get himself right up alongside number 38, Don Gilbert there, and get himself up on the inside of Corner Cottage as well and just managed to take himself through on that inside line as they roared their way up to Church Bends. But can he hold that advantage as they're making their way back towards you up there? Certainly dusting off the cobwebs, whatever they are by the looks of it. Back to you, Tim. Yeah, there's a long snake of bikes going across the bridge. And it is 38 that leads. Don Gilbert from 12, Ty Jones. Just going to let you listen to the bikes across the line here. And the bike just coming up now is the travelling marshal. So Don Gilbert it is, who's 0.06 ahead of number 12, Ty Jones, who did make a really good start from the middle of the second row uh, when we got underway. Third, number 10, Michael Russell. Fourth, number 73, Jack Petrie. Fifth, number 74, Aaron Hughes. The newcomer, sixth, number 57, Kevin Barsby. Seventh, number 69, Jan Galley. Eighth, number 89, Ryan Whitehall. Ninth, number 50, Mark Jackson. Tenth, number 93, Paul Cranston. Eleventh, number 90, Craig Houghton. Twelfth, number 53, Colin Croft. But uh, the pole sitter, he's only a fraction ahead of the man who was having all the issues, it seemed, on the front row, uh, on the second row, I should say, in the middle, Ty Jones. But the gap it's just 0.06 of a second and it's just 0.6 back to third place number 10 Michael Russell let's go to cross four ways and Rob Pritchard yeah, and looks like uh, number 38, Don Gilbert's been a bit of a break for it. He's got a bit of a gap here into Corner Cottage. And number 12, Ty Jones being caught by numbers 73 and 10 here. So number 73 up into third, number 10. And up on the inside, three more there. Fantastic stuff. 50, 90, 93, 53, and 78 through there as well. So the field spreading out just a little bit more in that last lap also. Next to number 99, Jeffrey number 25 as well. That's Tom Snow, 96 and 41 as well. 33, 58, and 80. 
on their way through as well. So Don Gilbert just opening up that advantage a little bit more, but Michael Russell overtaken by number 73, Jack Petrie, who's up into third. Great running from him, and Aaron Hughes, the newcomer, Grace off here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Another gaggle on their way through, backed up by one of the newcomers, number 54. That's Paul Turner on the 600 Kawasaki, the man from Colby. But as Don Gilbert just seems to be just making his way a little bit further forward, he's opening the gap. Back to you, Tim. Yeah, it is one machine now, two more, three more emerge, but it is Don Gilbert who leads. And it is uh, number 73, Jack Petrius in second. Number th uh, Third place is number 10, Michael Russell. And down into fourth is number 12, Ty Jones. Fifth and up there is uh, upper place is number 69, Jan Galley. Sixth, 57, Kevin Bardsby. 100.598 for Don Gilbert on that lap. The record stands to uh, Lee Henbury in 2019 at 101.008. So we're not too far away from that. Seventh, 74, Aaron Hughes. Eighth, number 89, Ryan Wa uh, Whitehall. Ninth, number 50, Mark Jackson. Tenth, and up into tenth is number 90, Craig Houghton. Eleventh, 93, Paul Cranston. Twelfth, and up into twelfth is 78, David Brooke. Thirteenth is 53, Colin Croft. Fourteenth, 99, Jeffrey Lunn. And fifteenth, number 25, Tom Snow. But it is number 38, Don Gilbert, who is the uh, rider on that Kawasaki uh, from Nutburn, who leads, but it's... Uh, two and a half seconds ahead of Petri, number 73 in second and the third place right there with uh, Petri is number 10 Michael Russell has Gilbert made the break let's go to cross four ways and Rob Pritchard Oh, it's a little closer, Tim, as 38 Don Gilbert, he still leads, but right on his tail, number 10, Michael Russell, and then there's number 73 as well, just behind Jack Petrie, great lap from him as well, 74, 69, and 57 next to in that order, and number 89 as well, there's Ryan Whitehall, the newcomer, number 50 as well, another newcomer in there, Mark Jackson, and then four more emerge, led by number 90 there, so that's Craig Houghton, backed up by 53, that's Colin Croft, and number 12, Ty Jones, there he is, he's dropped all the way down, so are those gremlins starting to to reappear as well as four more around the cottage as well about number 99 Jeffrey Lund 96 25 and 41 in there 58 80 and 33 in that order as well so Don Gilbert number 38 his advantage has been almost cancelled out by number 10 Michael Russell right on his tail and Jack Petrie number 73 52 77 80 coming through as well back to you Tim yeah, it looks closer this time for sure. Three bikes emerge, and it's a new leader. Number 10, Michael Russell, has got ahead of number 38, and that is a new lap record for this class as well. 103.079 from number 10, Michael Russell. The record book is in shreds this evening. Michael Russell, a lap record for this race, 103.079. Number 38, Don Gilbert, is 100.988, which is also ahead of Lee Hembry's 2019 mark of 101.008. The gap is 0.47 seconds. And uh, Jack Petrie, number 73 in third, also over the mark at 101.789. So the top three all break the record, but it is Russell, the new race leader, number 10, Michael Russell, who has the uh, advantage of nearly half a second, and that new race lap record. Fourth is, and up into fourth is number 74, Aaron Hughes, the newcomer, Fifth is number 69, Yang Galley. Sixth is number 57, Kevin Barsby. Seventh is number 89, Ryan Whitehall. He's going well and moving up. Eighth, number 50, Mark Jackson. Ninth, number 90, Craig Houghton. Tenth, number 78, David Brook. They're swapping places all over the place. Who's going to be leading at cross four ways? Rob Pritchard with the answers. Right on cue, number 10, Michael Russell pulling out quite the gap now. Here's number 38, Don Gilbert, who's just been closed down. Three bike links between him. Number 73, Jack Petrie, great run from him. Yang Galley's on number 69, and Ryan Whitehall, great running from them as well. 74, 69, and 57 in that order as well. Here is number 89, Ryan Whitehall, the newcomer. Great run from him so far 
followed by another newcomer as well, number 50, Mark Jackson as well. So Michael Russell is not hanging about. He's stretching that advantage, number 78 up on the inside of 90 here, and then 93, lovely move there by David Brook. Number 53, Colin Croft, he's through corner cottage as well. So Michael Russell's number 12, Ty Jones, who's of course dropped back after that solid start as well. He's through as well. But it's Michael Russell, and yeah, I think, Tim, we're going to be needing an industrial shredder sometime soon. 25, 99, 41, 96 through. Back to you. Yeah, and uh, pulling clear, it looks as well, is number 10 now. He crosses the line as two bikes emerge on the School Hill Rise. First of those is 38. And another outright lap record for this category here 103.982 is the new mark so uh, yeah you're right industrial size shredder is required here it's 38 don gilbert in second he's 3.8 seconds down on russell now in third is number 73 jack petri They've all gone over the old lap record. That's uh, gone into the history books now. Fourth, number 74, the newcomer, Aaron Hughes. Fifth, number 69, Jan Galley. Sixth, number 57, Kevin Barsby. Seventh, number 89, Ryan Whitehall. Eighth, number 50, Mark Jackson. Up into ninth, it's number 78, David Brook. And in tenth is number 90. And number 90 is Craig Houghton. 103.982 miles per hour. Remember, the existing record for this race at the start was 101.008. They have smashed that mark. So... 3.8 seconds, number 10, Michael Russell leads over number 38, Don Gilbert. He, in turn, is 1.1 second ahead of number 73, Jack Petri. And they, the top three, are some distance ahead of the rest. Let's go to Rob. Great timing there is number 10, Michael Russell, still stretching that advantage. And there's number 38, Don Gilbert, still being kept honest here by number 73, Jack Petri, great ride from him. Look at what some of these newcomers are achieving out here today. Number 74, Aaron Hughes, the man from Westrum on the AFB motorcycles. Fantastic from him. He's leading number 69 and 57. Well, number 89 as well. Another good newcomer this evening, Ryan Whitehall, that Yamaha R6. Number 50 as well, Mark Jackson as well. So some great running from some of these newcomers out here tonight as well. But Michael Russell stretched to the advantage. His 78, 90, 93 in that order. And then just a couple of seconds back here, number 53, Colin Croft as well. Just can't quite seem to keep pace with that trio, just getting away from them as they head up towards Church Benz there. But Michael Russell, this man means business. Back to you, Tim. Yeah, the man who, of course, was in every single race at the TT. And he crosses the line and uh, no record this time. But what's the gap? 6.6 .6 now, an extended advantage for number 10, Michael Russell, ahead of number 38, Don Gilbert. There's only 0.4 of a second, though, between Gilbert and third place. 73, Jack Patrick. Great uh, tussles going on right the way through the field here. Up into fourth now is the newcomer, number 69, Jan Galley. Fifth, number 74, Aaron Hughes, another newcomer. In amongst them is the uh, number 57, Kevin Barsby. And uh, seventh is number 89, Ryan Whitehall. Then it's eighth, number 50, Mark Jackson. Ninth, number 78, David Brook. Tenth, number 90, Craig Houghton. Eleventh, number 93, Paul Cranston. Twelfth, number 53, Colin Croft. i tell you that newcomer... Ryan Whitehall has gone over 100 miles an hour, 100.471. Uh, <coughs> as has newcomer Aaron Hughes, 100.326 to be in fifth position. But it is Michael Russell with an extended advantage of 6.62 seconds. Number 10 leads 38. Don Gilbert, who's being kept very honest and uh, hearing that number 12 is a retirement, that's Ty Jones, the man who had the issues at the start. Let's go to Rob. Here's number 10, Michael Russell. Quite the gap now. He's opening up through Corner Cottage here. And there is number 38, Don Gilbert, still holding off the advances here. Of number 73, Jack Petri as well. But as you say, Tim, absolutely keeping him honest through there. Fantastic work as well from number 69, Jan Galley, the man from Martigue as well, up into fourth as well after that lap. Brilliant work from him as well. 
And here comes numbers 74 and 57. So that's Aaron Hughes holding off. And on the way through, two more as well. So Aaron Hughes, number 74, he's back up into the mix as well. Here's number 50 as well. Mark Jackson on his way through another of the newcomers there. Three more through the dip. And here is number 78. So that is David Brook, numbers 90 and 93. Craig Houghton, Paul Cranston, and number 53. Colin Croft as well so some eye-catching performances from the newcomers back to you Tim I think it's an even bigger lead now but he's uh, just either looking behind or uh, to see where anyone is uh, there but they weren't they're only just emerging now or he's got a slight issue with the bike let's hope it's the latter for Michael uh, Russell the last uh, lap flag is being shown number 10 just 4.25 miles away from victory I think he was just checking behind him to see how far back they were. It's 57, Kevin Bardsby moves now into fourth. Into fifth is number 74, Aaron Hughes. Sixth, number uh, 89, Ryan Whitehall. And seventh now is Jan Galley. So they're swapping and having a great battle uh, uh, around uh, every straight and corner of the Colas Balan course. Eighth, Mark Jackson, the newcomer. Ninth, 78, David Brooke. Tenth, number 90, Craig Houghton. Eleventh, number 93, Paul Cranston. And twelfth, number 53, Colin Croft. But it is Michael Russell with a 6.61 second advantage now over number 38, Don Gilbert. He, in turn, is 0.8 ahead of number 73, Jack Petrie. So there's still a battle for second and third. And then there's a big gap back, nearly 14, 14.4 14 seconds till fourth place. <laughs> Great battles down amongst the lower order riders there. Fourth place is 57, Kevin Barsby. The race record's gone. Can he get the race win? Michael Russell leads. Let's go to Rob. On cue again, Tim, as ever, impeccable timing. Here's number 10, Michael Russell, your race leader, on his way through. That gap just seems to have gone down a little bit as number 38, Don Gilbert, is through. The 73, Jack Petrie keeping him on us as well. That gap just seems to have dropped just a little bit to number 10, Michael Russell. Still got a sizable advantage by the looks of it, but those two, for those final two podium places, keeping them honest, who could practically roll the dice for the fourth position. Here's number 57, Kev Barsby, 74, Aaron Hughes, 89. Ryan Whitehall as well, so it's still anyone's game for that fourth spot. Number 69, there's Jan Galley. He's dropped off a little bit, so for that fourth spot in particular, could be anybody's game going through Church Benz and through Great Meadow as well, as we see number 50 as well. There's Mark Jackson on his way through as well on the Yamaha, the Mark Jackson racing. Number 78 as well there, David Brooke on his way through. Two more, 90 and 90. The race as Craig Houghton and Paul Cranston and Colin Croft number 53. Back to you, Tim. Yeah, bike emerges again and look behind, but he's just touring across the line. He managed that lead. Michael Russell takes the victory. He's got a lap record as well for this race. Second is 38, Don Gilbert, and 73, Jack Petrie. That was nonchalant from Russell as he crossed the line, looking backwards to uh, almost uh, say, well, here I am. I'm just going to cross the line and take the win. Let's go to Chris Kinley. Yeah, thanks very much, Tim. Mike Russell, 103.982. Last lap, 99.5, winning by 2.1 in the end. Let him get the gloves off. Obviously not qualifying for the, for the 600A race, which will be going off, and he has got to go off quickly because he's going to get the sidecar out to do a few bits and bobs on that. But let him take the lid off. Petrie just in there, we'll grab a word, but Mike quickly, I know you've got to get out and uh, get a lap on the sidecar, fastest lap, 103.982, a new lap record for the class, but I'm sure you'd probably be better in the, in the yellow class, really, I bet that's what you hoped for, was it? To be fair, yeah, it was, unfortunately, when I came here, I wanted to just qualify for the A final, you know, we, we did two laps uh, in practice, and I'd, you know, brake fade and everything else, we had uh, issues at the TT with this little bike as well, but, um, you know, it's just nice to get a race out, we're trying to do Every class, I'm absolutely shattered. But uh, thanks, you know, thanks for uh, to everyone waving on the crowd, you know, in the crowd and everything. It's uh, keeping us going. So uh, yeah, we'll get out on the sidecar now and bed some brakes in before the race in a couple of minutes. So uh, give us a wave. Tell you what, you made your work for that though. First couple of laps, didn't you, to get to the front? I oh, just just standard Jack Russell, you know, just <laughs> don't get off the line and then struggle from there. But uh, um, 
the, the, you know, the three, three lads in front of us were having a right good ding dong, and it was nice to watch actually. And I thought, shall I just sit here and just watch this because it's quite entertaining? Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, they, they made a little mistake, and I thought, I'll just nip past and um, see how we can get on. But uh, thank you very much, Chris. Anyway, I'm going to get undressed and dressed again for a psycho. All right, good luck. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Pud. Cheers. Let's have a word with John Gilbert if we can. And John. Jack was just telling me, Michael Russell was telling me you two having a bit of a ding dong in front of him. Yeah, it was a <laughs> yeah, it was quite good fun. I have to say, my bike's overheated a little bit though, so yeah, I'm not sure if we get out for another one, but we'll see. But no, it was good fun. Give you your fastest lap. We know you riders like to know these things. 102.50. What's that in a uh, minute? Oh, hang on, wait a minute. I've got to change this now. You're asking me to do technical yeah. things. <laughs> hang on a minute. Hello if it, to it, mum and dad, by the way. Oh, hello, I'm sorry? Hello, hello to mum and dad. Uh, two minutes, 29.265. Nice, cool, wicked. See, everyone says they'd like to know speed, yeah, but 2 minutes 29, 265, and uh, just a second ahead of Jack in third. Yeah, yeah, well, sort of, he's, he came a bit closer, but yeah, he was a bit too quick for me today. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, and we'll speak to Jack. Do you want to know your lap time or your lap speed? Uh, lap speed. Oh, see, he wanted lap time. 2 minutes 29, 33, and I go, but I'll have to do this. I'm too old to be doing all these technical things. Uh, 102, 45. Yeah, surprised by that. I was, it's my first time in 600 here, so I got to 98 yesterday, so I was just hoping for the 100, so yeah, 102. Yeah. And where did Jack get past? Where did Mike Russell get past? Straight. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I old dodgy run out the final corner, and yeah, he just came flying past. I was following I was following him third for a while, and I was thinking about over, making a challenge for second, but to be honest, it was just he was just as quick as me, so I could, there was no room to pass, but yeah. Well, after your third. Good crack? Yeah, well, make a crack. <laughs> <laughs> the smile says it all. Well done. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Thanks. Thank you very much. So there you go. There's the front three in the JZK Limited 600cc. That's the B race. Going to do the presentation pretty handy. And I know they're going to be getting the, the 600A race up here in a moment. So we'll just wait for the final bike to get up on there. That's uh, Petrie's bike will be going up into that third position. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's the JCK Limited B race. To do the presentation is Sue Staley. Thank you very much, Sue, for that. Ladies and gentlemen, in third position, just getting his bike up onto the podium now. Just give him a second, just get the stand in. Oh, hello, get it up onto the top there. Yep, well done. It's number 73, Jack Petrie. Well done, Jack. Happy with his lap at 102.452. We'll just let him turn around and take the applause. Jack, turn round, please. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. So we'll get the hat and get the foraging vintners sparkling wine. In second place with the fastest lap of 102.502, Don Gilbert. And, of course, Jack and Don both under the old lap record as well. And your race winner, number 10, fastest lap, and the new class lap record, 103.982, Michael Russell. <laughs> 